Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Artifacts YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create these digital mountains in Adobe After Effects using Trap Code Mirror and also how to create this little bright light in the sky animation using Null Light Factory, which is also a Red Giant plugin. And then the simple animation of the stars in the background is just created using CC Ball Action, which is included in Adobe After Effects. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and we're going to jump right in and get started. So I already created a new project by going to File, New Project, and now we're ready to create a composition. So just go to New Composition, and I'm just going to rename this Digital Mountains, and I'm going to select the standard 1920 by 1080, making this a 15 second duration. The next thing we're going to do is create our background layer. So we are going to go to Layer, New, Solid. And then I'm just going to rename this BG and I'm going to change my background to black. And then we're going to create another layer by going to layer new solid. This is going to be our stars layer. So I want my stars to be blue. So I'm going to change the color to a blue color and just click OK. Next, we're going to go over here to effects and presets and we are going to search CC Ball Action. If you don't see your effects and presets, just go to Window and make sure that there's a check mark next to Effects and Presets. So now I'm going to drag my CC Ball Action into my Stars layer. And then I'm just going to change some of the settings. The scatter I'm going to change to 1024, grid spacing 2, and ball size you can change between 13 and 15. Now we're going to create our mirror layer, so just go to Layer, New Solid, same settings, and then go to Effect, Trap Code, Mirror. And now we're going to go under Geometry Options and change some of the settings here. So Vertices X, we're going to change to 11. Vertices Y, 50, Size X. We're going to change to 3030. And then Size Y, we're going to change to 370. And then the next step is to go under Fractal and we're going to change some of the settings under Fractal. So we're going to start by changing the frequency to 300 to 307. And then before we change any other settings, we're actually going to add a light. So just go to Layer, New, Light. And I'm going to keep my light color as a blue and then light type point and just click OK. And then I'm just going to move my light to the top left hand side of the composition using my selection tool. And now I'm going to go back to my mirror layer and just make sure that mirror is selected and I'm just going to reposition this to the bottom of the composition. Now I'm going to go back to my fractal and I'm going to change the amplitude to 430 which is a little too high so I'm just going to bring this down until I get the effect that I want. So now I'm going to leave it at 194. I think that looks pretty good. So I th we are done with the mirror settings at this time. Now we're going to switch over to the background layer. We're going to add a light using Null Light Factory. So go to Effect, Null Light Factory. And this is a Red Giant plugin that uh, you will need. And I'm just going to reposition the light behind the mountain layer that we just created. And I'm just going to position this so it's just appearing behind the mountains. And then we're actually going to animate this. Um, so just make sure your time ruler is at the beginning of the time graph area. And we're going to click the stopwatch for brightness. And we're going to set it at zero. And then I'm going to drag my time ruler to the end of the time graph area and re change the brightness to 125. And we'll see how that looks. That's a little too bright. I might bring this down a little bit. But you can definitely play around with the settings to get the effect that you want. So at the end, I think it's just a little too bright. So I am going to bring the brightness down. So I'm going to set it at 115, and I think that'll be pretty good. So it's just going to create a cool little light animation. And the next thing we're going to do is add an animation to our star. So we're going to click on our star layers, bring the time ruler back to the beginning of the time graph area. And then we're going to click the stopwatch for the ball size and bring it down to zero. And then we're just going to drag our time ruler all the way to the end of the time graph area. 
and then bring our ball size up to about 17. And you can increase this if you want a more intense starry star field background at the end of your animation. So I'm just gonna play around with this and bring it up to 20. And then I'm gonna add a simple glow effect to the stars layer. So just go to effects and presets and search glow, and then just drag the glow into the stars layer. And that's it for this simple animation. The last thing we need to do is render our footage. So just go to File, Export, Add to Render, Q, and then I'm just going to select the format QuickTime under Output Module. And then once you have your settings, you just go ahead and click Render. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more quick tips and tutorials.